Mobile City Council and County Commission set to vote on incentives for Airbus totaling $20 million. But does a corporation that made a $4.5 billion profit last year need taxpayer funding? Our investigative reporter Brandon Kirby is looking into that. The Mobile City Council is poised to vote Tuesday on an incentive package to support this massive assembly line already under construction. The $10 million, spread out over a decade, mostly would subsidize the construction of Airbus's third final assembly line at its Brooklyn Aeroplex facility. Part of the money would pay for job training. Supporters say the money will help create a thousand new jobs, and Airbus won't get all of that money if it doesn't hit job targets. The Mobile County Commission is discussing a similar $10 million package, but County Commissioner Randall Dewitt has raised equity concerns. A lot of my concerns, everybody knows, it's the same as it always is with every corporation that we get our tax dollars from the citizens of Mobile County, that's their money, to a corporation. And some of these people own local businesses who struggle, who can barely keep their doors open. Airbus previously told Fox 10 News that the company is grateful for its strong partnership with state and local leaders. The incentives up for a vote are unusual in that the money would support an assembly line that's already under construction. Troy University economics professor Daniel Sutter says governments usually use incentives to lure new businesses or expansions over other competing sites. This project already is happening. So the, the, the rationale in terms of trying to lure or, or keep uh, the, the facility in this case is pretty weak. But Professor Sutter says it's also a good idea to maintain a strong relationship to prevent a large employer from even exploring other options in the future. There's an old line I remember from you know, college football uh, coaching. If, if you wait for some uh, other school to come and uh, recruit your uh, coach and then you're going to try to make, make a deal to keep them to stay, it's probably too late. Despite concerns, County Commission President Connie Hudson says she's confident the incentives will pass. Airbus has presented a tremendous opportunity for Mobile County and the city of Mobile, really the entire region. I mean, when you think about it, to be the fourth largest airplane manufacturing facility in the world, that the company has is right here in Mobile, how, how fortunate that we are to have that partnership. The state of Alabama also has pledged money towards this project, but after repeated attempts, the Department of Commerce has not gotten back with us. Reporting in Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.